So hi guys, this is Christian Davis. Uh, welcome to the first of my uh, production tutorials. We're not going to mess about, going to keep these short and sweet. Uh, first up, one of my most requested uh, tips, how to make an electro bass line. So what we've got up here already is uh, just a beat. A kick and a snare uh, and a little hi-hat. So um, what we're going to focus on this one is how to uh, program the pattern rather than the sound. Um, we're going to use Nexus here. Grab that up um, to get a typical electro bass preset. Which sounds a bit like this. Uh, it's very popular since, so uh, just going to be using that for the demo. Bring up a part. We are using Logic here. Uh, this works exactly the same in Ableton or Cubase or whatever you might be using. Find your sound, uh, and we'll just put in a. Uh, Four notes, see what that sounds like. Okay, it's not very exciting, so uh, we need to sort of uh, liven that up a bit. So, uh, try that. So it's sort of coming together. Part of the uh, part of the trick with the these sorts of electro bass lines is uh, the space between the notes is just as important as the the notes themselves, uh, and also just to keep things interesting because the style of music is pretty minimal. Um, so it's you have you know very basic sounds: your kick, your snare, your hat, your bass line, um, and very little else. So it's very important to get those things absolutely right. <laughs> so it's, it's it's grooving a little bit there. Just make this a two bar loop and um, put a bit of interest on the end there. Put them there. Uh, try that. So we're going to put a bit of life into this uh, with the uh, some velocity changes. You can do a sort of similar thing to this with side chaining by a uh, side chaining from a kick and pulling it up from the first beat but it uh doesn't have quite the same effect as you'll see we're going to uh if you can set obviously the velocity to control um filters as well so what i've just done there is assigned it turned up the velocity to the actual volume of the note in nexus so uh the lower the velocity the quieter the note And another big thing is the, uh, the swing and the groove of, th of the uh, bass line rhythm. So make sure your quantize is exactly what you want it to be on here. Um, at the moment, we're quantized to a straight 16th. We're going to try a bit of a swing on it. We do this in Ableton with the uh, groove library, I think it's called now. See how that swings a bit more. We've got a couple of notes cutting off there, just because they're a little bit too long. Okay, so we've got our basic bass line there. Um, it does sound a little bit thin though, so uh, we're going to bring up another Nexus, because we can. There it is. Uh, I'm going to copy that onto the new channel. It's not very interesting in the slightest. Um, and we're just going to look for a nice low bass. Just Take it down an octave. See what that sounds like. Turn our delay off. See what that sounds like with the other bass. So it just gives it a little bit of depth there. Um, and back to the uh, first Nexus. So we haven't used any delays or reverbs yet. I turn them off on the other one. It keeps it nice and clean, but it's good to have a few in there. You've got to be very careful. Um, example. If I turn the delay on on uh, this, 
very, very subtle. What you need is something that doesn't distract from the actual baseline, but just fills in a bit of the space around it, but not too much. You can see here, I've got the low cut and the high cut turned right down, um, and, I'll, and the mix turned right down. I'll turn them up so you can see. This is how it would sound with everything just turned right up. starts getting a little bit muddy, taking a lot of the bass and a lot of the top end out of the echo. And uh, all together, it sounds like this. Now, uh, next things I'd probably go and do to that would be, um, I'd probably use side chain on it as well. We'll cover that in another tutorial. Uh, also fatten the kick up a bit and get the balance sorted a bit better. But for, uh, for sequencing, that's a good start for you. Keep it nice and musical and enjoy.